Hi, let's see one of the gate question which was asked in the year 2021, right? So in the year 2021, we have two sets. So this question is related to set one. Okay, consider the following C program and regarding that program, which one of the following options is correct? They are asking. Okay, so you know every C program is going to start its execution from the main method and they declare here three variables. One is i integer variable, j integer variable, and count integer variable. And they initialize the, the integer variables i and count with the values 0 and 0. And they have taken the for loop. That for loop j value is initialized with the minus 3. Okay, fine. So you know uh, it's going to uh, start the j value with minus 3 and it's going to check for the condition yes minus 3 is less than or equal to minus 3 and it's going to enter inside the block right inside the block is minus 3 greater than or equal to 0 condition fail when condition fail and if you observe here it's a kind of uh, und condition und condition right so when we encounter und condition between the expressions if first expression is false with an and operator second expression won't be evaluated this is the trick we part you have to understood here so as minus 3 greater than or equal to 0 is not going to be executed so it's going to be false the remaining part won't be executed won't be executed so simply it will, it will skip this process and it's going to go for incrementing j value that is minus 2 now minus 2 again, minus 2 less than or equal to 3, yes, minus 2 greater than or equal to 0, no, again minus 2 will be incremented by plus 1, that is minus 1, minus 1 less than or equal to 3, true, minus 1 greater than or equal to 0, fail, so j value incremented by 1, that is 0, you are going to get, right, now 0 less than or equal to 3, yes, 0 greater than or equal to 0, yes, condition is true, when this condition is true, then only the under condition other part is going to be executed right so other part here you can observe here there is a parenthesis guys there is a difference between without parenthesis and with parenthesis right as there is a parenthesis i value will be incremented by one incremented by one now this condition is true first condition is true and second condition is true so inside the block is going to be executed now count will be updated by count plus j count is what already zero zero plus zero is updated to zero now j value incremented by 1 now is 1 less than or equal to 3 yes 1 greater than or equal to 0 yes and i value is obviously a positive value so incremented by 1 that is 2 count value count plus j count value is 0 plus j is 1 so 1 plus 0 is 1 now j value incremented by 1 that is 2 2 less than or equal to 3 2 greater than or equal to 0 i value incremented by 1 second 3 count to plus 3 that is 1 plus 2 that is 3 now j value incremented by once again, 1, that is 3. 3 less than or equal to 3. Yes, obviously true. 3 greater than or equal to 0, true. And j value, i value will be incremented by 1, that is 4. Count equal to count plus j. Count plus j means 3 plus 3, 6. Will be updated to count variable only. Now j will be incremented by 1, that is, sorry, incremented by 1, that is 4. Hmm. So j value will be 4. Is 4 less than or equal to 3 condition is failed when this condition is failed it is going to comes out of this block completely exit this block and then count equal to count plus a what is the value of count 6 6 plus i value is 4 10 that will be updated to count variable 10 right print your percentage d comma count you are going to get the output as 10 so is there any error we got no right so you have to select the best one the program will not compile successfully Obviously, this is an error because compilation errors you are going to get when there is any syntax mistake. But there are no syntax mistakes we have observed so far. And the program will compile successfully and output is 10 when we execute it. Yes. So, option B is correct answer for us. Okay. Output 8, output 13 we are not getting. So, we are going to get only output 10. So, option B is correct answer okay so here the tricky part is you have to understood how the post increment operator is executing and how the und operator is executing you have to understand so you have to test that they have given this question okay 
i hope you understood clearly thank you